you. You move that piece of crap right now or I'll move it for you. Hey guys, Tyler here, back at you with another review, and this one is a product review. Today we're going to be reviewing the k V3.1 from Tobacco. This is a stainless steel 22mm device with a 510 connection. Um, the center, the little center, like, Philly ring, or like, where you can see inside of it is plastic, but it is polycarbonate. So I don't think you have to worry too much about your juices melting it. I would still be concerned with the super, super acidic juices like cinnamon and, I don't know, cinnamon juices or really, really high menthol juices. Um, now, in standard, this is 60 millimeters long without the drip tip. And it is, holds 4.5 milliliters of juice. You can get pieces and parts to extend it to a longer version, which would be 81 millimeters and hold 10 milliliters of juice, or the super long version would be 102 millimeters and hold 15 milliliters of juice. So an entire bottle, basically. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, I mean, if you're trying not to fill it up frequently, that would be the way to go. Um, now with this K fund, it holds 4.5 milliliters of juice. At least mine does. I don't have any extension parts to it. And this lasts, you know, I don't have to fill it for a long time. I don't use it every day, all day, but I use it at work 99% of the time. And I, I really don't have to fill it up all that often. It holds quite a bit of juice. And I really love this device. So with those specs, it is a stainless steel device. Uh, it is a fingerprint magnet if you don't have the brushed finish, um, which I do not have. But I still like this device. All you have to do is just take your shirt and, you know, wipe it off. The fingerprints go away. It's not a big, big deal. Um, as you can see, it does have adjustable airflow. And there are, as I can get it out of the frame. There we go. All right. So the screw on this side, right here, is the adjustable airflow screw. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver to adjust it. But this controls your airflow, so you can have it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. And me, myself, personally, I like a wide open draw. Um, so I have it pretty open. Um, I wouldn't open it up too much, otherwise the screw will fall out. I do not know if that will cause a leaking problem or not. Um, I have not figured that out yet, and I really don't want to. This hole right here is your airflow hole, and that screw controls how much air gets into this hole and into this device and this screw right here is the fill screw so you'll take this screw out you'll hold your your device sideways stick your bottle or your needle nose tip in there and just fill it up um a lot of people um from my local vape shop and myself included when i got this device could not get the air flow or the air could not get the fill hole screw out. I cannot talk. The fill hole screw out. It was stuck in there until I put some juice in from the top. I took the top cap off, filled it down from there, and after a few days, it kind of got lubricated and wet, and it came out a lot easier. Um, I do not recommend filling it through the top cap. You will have a lot of leaking problems. Um, but if worse comes to worse, you can't get the fill screw out, it's the way to do it. I did it, and it benefited me because I was able to get the fill screw out after that. Um, but that is just one con I have, is that fill screw does not like to come out. This device is 60 millimeters tall, and it is 22 millimeters in diameter. So it'll fit flush on any 22 millimeter mod, mech mod that you have or regulated mod that you have um it looks really well looks really nice with the mvp and even with an evod with the pro tank bd ring on it um you have your k fun style drip tip which i do love and this one if i can get it off hold on. 
this screws off. You can, however, buy a an, an adapter to screw into this, and you can use any drip tip you want. I, however, personally do like this K Fun drip tip. Moving down, you have this top cap, which goes from where the drip tip screws in to about here. And then below the top cap, we have one metal portion. And then we have our polycarbonate plastic that you can see your juice level in the inside of the chimney. And then you have another plastic portion. And then you have your base with your adjustable airflow and your fill hole. This device itself has a 510 connection. It is a silver plated connection. And on the bottom it says uh, made in Germany, designed in Russia, and it has the Sove Mesto uh, logo and whatnot on it. And uh, I do not know if the pin itself is adjustable. I did not look that up before I started this video. I will post in the description below if it is adjustable or not. Um, I'm not going to try it on camera and risk messing up my K phone. But overall, I really, really, really love this device. Um, it's perfect for those people who want to get into rebuilding their own coils but not having the hassle of having to drip constantly. Um, I use this device at work on a daily basis and it gets me through my days with no problem. I love the fact that you can rebuild, that you rebuild your coils onto this device. It makes it a lot more fun to use. Um, the wicking for it is really easy to do. I myself, I personally use cotton. A lot of people use um, silica or eco wool, eco wool, however you say it. I've used cotton since I started building and I plan to continue to use cotton. That's just what I prefer. Um and I went back and forth for a little while after my first impressions video on whether or not I was going to do a K Fun build in this video. And I came to the conclusion that you can search K Fun on YouTube and literally have videos from Rip Trippers and Grim Green and Pipa Sardo and Vaping Greek all come up with great reviews and great builds in those videos, especially with Rip Trippers. He does quite a few K Fun builds throughout the videos that he has. Um, so I decided not to and to not bog down this video any more than it needed to be. Um, but let's go ahead and take a vape so you can see what the vapor production is like. It does produce quite a bit of vapor, so. So as you can see, it produces quite a bit of vapor. Um, before this video, I literally just filled it up with Blue Razzy from Olympia Vaporworks. Uh, it's an 80 VG, 20 PG juice, and I love the flavor that this K-Fun gives me. K-Funs were more so designed for a flavor aspect more so than a vapor production aspect. You can still get a lot of vapor production with the builds that you put into it and the juices that you use but it is more so made to give you a lot of flavor and by a lot of flavor I mean a lot of fucking flavor um, dripping that blue razzy I get a decent amount of flavor um, I get a lot of vapor production because it is a higher VG juice but in the K-Fun I get straight flavor and it is incredible and I think that's why I love this K-Fun so much I can you know drip on my trident and blow massive clouds, but if I'm out in public, you know, at a public place, at work, I don't want to blow massively huge clouds, I can use my K-Fon, still get decent vapor, and get that flavor that I crave. Um, with the juice I had in before this Blue Razzy, it was a strawberry from my local shop, and I mixed it myself, I think I messed it up because I wanted it to be a 6, I think it ended up being between like a, a 12 and an 18 because I just wasn't paying attention when I was mixing it and it was really 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 harsh so I learned that a six milligram juice in this is perfect you get the right amount of throat hit and the perfect amount of flavor and you can just hit it for days 
Um, I really only have one con with this device, and it's the fact that the fill screw doesn't like to come out at first. But after that fill screw comes out, it is not a problem. It goes in and out easy. Um, filling it can be a hassle if you don't have a needle tip like this or a thinner tip on your bottle like such. Filling it with a glass pipette is rather difficult and a very, very messy experience, so I highly recommend investing in one of these drip tip thingies that you can get from Mount Baker Vapor for like a dollar fifty. Or no, sixty nine cents I think. I think it was sixty nine cents. Um but if you have a bottle like such, it works perfectly fine. Um what else do I need to cover? One over the height, the millimeter, the capacity. I don't know if there's anything else I should cover. I'm not gonna build in this. I do love this device and I come and I highly recommend it to anybody, whether you're trying to get into building your own coils and you're a beginner or you're an experienced vapor and haven't tried a K fun yet, you definitely should. I love this device and it definitely will not be leaving my hands probably ever. Um this device online varies pr prices vary from place to place. I acquired this device in a trade. I traded my Igo L and my Pro Tank 2 to my friend Justin uh for this K fun because he wanted something different and he likes the Pro Tanks and he wanted to get into rebuilding and wanted to blow clouds, so I gave him my Igo L for it. I, however, have my Trident, and then I have a few other ideas coming. I wanted a K farm. It worked out, and I, I love this device. Um, my local shop, I think, just sold out yesterday. I think I sold the last two yesterday. Um, for forty bucks, and with tax, it came out to like forty-three. Um, online, you can find it at any different retail. Retailer, I know Fast Tech has a K farm for fifteen, a K farm for twenty-one, a K farm for twenty-five. Um, so anywhere you go, you can pretty much get a K-Fun clone for no more than 40 bucks. If you're looking for the authentic, it will be a little bit pricey. Um, I know the Russian 91 is upwards of a uh, Russian 91% is upwards of a hundred dollars. Um, and I have tried all of the K-Funs. I've tried the H Cigar one. I've tried the authentic. I've tried the K-Fun Light Plus. I've tried the Russian 91%. I've tried the Rocket. Um, and they all work just the same. So I wouldn't say you'd have to be too concerned with the quality of your vape experience with the different kinds of K funds that are out there. All of them that I've tried on all the different devices have performed exactly the same. And I think it just goes back to the person building and using the K fund on the K fund experience that you have. Um, overall, I really love this device and I would recommend it to pretty much anybody. And uh, yeah, this is my review on the KFUN V3.1 from Tobacco. I have a lot more reviews coming up. I have to refill my 3D dripper from Automoxy. What's the uh, H Cigar clone? I have to refill that because it turned out really bad. Um, I have a bunch of juice reviews to do. Um, I have some Max coming on Monday, so I'll have reviews for those coming up as well. And I'll have either a Tuesday night vape session or a blog, a vlog on Tuesday, um, as usual, just continuing with my schedule now that I'm able to upload on a regular basis again. Um, this has been my review. I really love this device and I recommend it for everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Love you guys. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Please share my videos. Feel free to talk to me. I love talking to you guys. You guys are the greatest, and you guys keep me in good spirits all the time. The vape community is just fantastic. So I will see you guys next time I upload, and have a great night. Peace.